Welcome back into Wake Up Washington. 810 is your time right now. Let's talk some trending news that a lot of people are talking about this week. Empire actor Jesse Smollett was back in headlines this week, and so was talk show host Wendy Williams following an emotional confession last week. Now, joining us this morning to talk a little bit more about this entertainment news is our friend, sitting in the city of WPGC. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> of course. I love coming here. <laughs> oh, girl, we love having you. So let's dive right in okay, because let's I mean, do it. people have been talking. So we know Jesse Smollett. Smollett was a no-show last night at the NAACP mm -hmm. Image Awards, and this was after those 16 felony charges. Uh, the mayor, by the way, in Chicago is not happy. He's not happy. Crazy part is the mayor actually wants him to pay $130,000 for all the costs of the entire investigation that went on. So, I mean, this story, I don't think you could, you could have written it better mm -mm. or more dramatic. So many things are happening uh, when you talk about Kim Fox, who is um, the Cook County State's attorney, she came back and now she's like, I'm open to a third party investigation mm -hmm. to just to make sure that you guys know that I did everything that I could because she thought that they could not get a court conviction. Um, so basically he just forfeited the $10,000 yeah. that he was charged for bail and did his community service. And immediately his records were sealed, which everyone is thinking, okay, yeah, that's that a little never suspect. happens for yeah. such a high profile case. Yeah, uh, definitely a, a, just a strange story entirely. And we, we know that the Chicago Police Department, they're not happy about this, the mayor. In fact, we do have a, a, a sound bite that we want folks to hear from the mayor of Chicago. Mr. Smollett is still saying that he is innocent, still running down the Chicago Police Department. How dare him? I've been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I've been accused of. Yes, so Jesse is sticking to his story. Are you surprised that he was a no-show at the uh, Image Awards last night? I definitely wasn't surprised. I think this is all very fresh in people's minds. People have a lot of opinions and comments, and I think that he was just trying to steer clear. But I do think that we have more questions than we have answers. Definitely. Because now what happens to the two brothers? They were allegedly involved in this. Mm -hmm. um, there was a report that police had actually paid for their hotel during the investigation and spent all this money, you know, mm -hmm. putting them up in these accommodations in Chicago. Then there's a report of how, you know, Kim Fox had a contact with Jesse Smollett's cousin uh, wow. actually texting in the beginning of investigation. So it sounds like some lines it's may have been crossed. A lot and, and, of Craziness, craziness attached to this story. Uh, let's talk about Wendy Williams mm. too. I, f I really hope that she's okay. Uh, she made a really emotional confession last week. If you missed it, I want you to check it out. For some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past, and I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped. Okay, so Wendy Williams, she, you know, confessed, she told everyone that she's been uh, living in a sober house, and this week there were re reports that she had a relapse, and there were some rumors, Sunny. So what's going on here? Yeah, so there were rumors that her husband, Kevin Hunter, and his mistress um, had a baby. Oh, and that the little girl was delivered about a week ago uh, and that they used a false name in Philly's hospital. And obviously from there, everyone thought about how Winnie was going to receive this information. Yeah. And then she goes on her show and she goes, I'm taking another break. Yeah. And everyone kind of put two and two together. She actually went back on her show on Friday wearing her ring, which she wasn't in the beginning of the week, which right. fueled more you know, rumors and um, different things that were happening. But... Um, she said that they're fine. She said this was a pre-scheduled break. She said, I'm doing great. I have my ring on. Yeah. Like she's trying to brush this off. And crazy part for me is um, a lot of people are saying that she deserves this, which I don't ever feel, feel that way. Yeah. I think that, you know, sh she's always doing her job. Yeah. Her job is the gossip world. And to throw some shade. I mean, that's, to throw that's, some shade. that's, that's what we style. look for. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that for people to feel like sh everything that's coming back to her is karma, I think it's just really insensitive. And I think at a time like this, I really hope that she gets better. I, I hope that she, uh, whatever her personal things that are happening with her husband, that she works that out. But you never want to see someone suffer like that, especially so public. Yeah. Um, so it's just a lot with Wendy. I, I do wish her well, but it's, it's very messy. And at the end of the day, she's still human. And so Absolutely. Are all of us, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Sunny, thanks for coming in to just spill the beans and mm. give you insight on this. It's always a lot It's going always on. some juice going on, girl. As long as so. we're not in it. <laughs> right? As long as I'm not in it. <laughs> Thank you, Sunny. We appreciate Thank you. you.